What is your name, sir? I'm Andrew. Well, here we are on set of Little Hope, part of the Dark Pictures anthology. Tell me about the characters you play in the game. Yeah, it's very exciting. I play uh, Andrew, who is a student on this trip to the town of Little Hope. I also play Anthony and I play Abraham, all existing at different time periods and in different places. What drew you to the role? What drew you to this game? I think for me, what drew me to it was the fact that at the core of it was a focus on authenticity as far as the performance was concerned. Hey, Andrew, buddy, how you doing? Where are we? What happened? Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay, though, just shaken up. Wait, I don't remember anything. Who are you? Something that the okay. team behind this project communicated to me from early on was a need to make the relationship between the different characters and their individual arcs feel truly authentic and have us all interact with each other in a very naturalistic way, in a way that would serve the story and, and make all the horror and the dramatic elements feel real. And that really excited me as an actor. I'd also never done any motion capture performance work or anything really like this before. So it was a new challenge too, and it's been really, really fun. Now, it's not only do you have these different characters and these different accents, you also have this complex branching story because as the player plays through this game, they can take it any way they want. How is that challenging for you to kind of navigate that as well? It's fun, you know, because I think having a little bit of experience in, in movies where ordinarily you just played one outcome and you're responsible for a single path through a, a storyline, getting the opportunity to play different options and commit to a number of different decisions as opposed to just one has been really enjoyable to see what your character might have done in a number of different ways and what he might not do in a number of different ways has been really cool. It's been fun to play all the different outcomes and see all those different narrative strands intertwine. Yeah, because up until now, you've been playing characters that the path has kind of been decided, the one path, and now it's your chance to really go whichever way with it. Right, 100%, yeah. Any other things that you, you've drawn on, any other roles that you've actually drawn on going into this? I'm not sure, you know, I'm not particularly experienced in the, in the horror genre at all, much less, of course, in, in, in the gaming world. But the nice thing about this is, you know, as I said, there's been a real emphasis on authenticity and just playing the reality of the situation. I think there haven't been any corny or contrived nods towards the horror genre. It's been about playing the reality of real people thrust into a, a very scary environment and just reacting naturally to it. And if anything, the dialogue has been designed to deconstruct anything that seems contrived or too thematic. And that's been really cool. And, and often that provides uh, opportunity for humor too. I want everyone to stay real close. No stragglers. You want to put us on a kid's line? Okay, okay, I'm coming. Yeah, you're talking about the story and how it's really, you know, genuine and because there's some basis a little bit in, in history and the, the Salem witch trials. Were you familiar with that story going into the game? Not so much, to be honest with you, but that's been really interesting. Laced within the story is some really, really interesting information about the Salem Witch Trials and about the history of that area. And with John, you were afforded the opportunity to learn about this because he is a professor and he does have an organic knowledge of these things. You got an explanation for what we saw? Nothing that makes sense. I do know there were witch trials in Little Hope around the same time as Salem. He's able to feed us tidbits that help us contextualize some of the stuff we're coming to contact with. Yeah, you walk away learning a whole bunch of new stuff and... There you go. It's an education across the board for me, this, this job. I'm like learning how to, how to do all sorts. Any favorite scenes that you've, that you've worked on so far? I felt for you because you did come on an incredibly intense day. There's a lot of... Just screaming and... and uh, screaming and dying. You came on the screaming and dying day. There has been, you know, a lot of fun had on this set too. I think as an antidote to the intense nature of some of the material and the amount of horror and gore and death, we have found it important to kind of laugh and joke around with each other too. And a lot of the banter and the conversation that exists amongst the students and, and John, the professor, is kind of quite humorous. Angela, played by Ellen, is a hilarious character and she regularly keeps us all laughing. It's serious, James! You're drunk! What a surprise! And that's meant that the project as a whole is really well balanced. 
Of course, there's authentic drama and there's a genuine sense of dread and horror, but there's also some really funny dialogue and there's been a chance to play the comedy too, which I've enjoyed. That looks bad. I hope Taylor is okay. Taylor will be just fine. Girl has a knack for getting out of trouble. I know Taylor can be demanding, selfish, quarrelsome, and small-minded, but other than that, she's a real baby. I'm just gonna say it. This is exactly what goes down in horror movies. I gotta ask, is it interesting for you to see kind of how the scenes play out from the other characters' perspectives? Because you're shooting a certain scene and a certain ending or a certain piece in your story, but then at the same time, the other characters shooting theirs. So it must be really interesting to kind of see how other people take that. Yeah, for sure. It has been. It has been. And I think it's one of those things I like. Look oh, she made her death sound so much better than my death. Oh, 100%. <laughs> oh, that, that's constant for me. All right. I don't want to go off to Ellen. I was like, let's start. Yeah, we all joke about that. She's got the most incredible scream ever. And so anytime there's some screaming and Ellen's up first, it feels like following Pavarotti on stage afterwards. It's like, do we have to really? Um, and no matter how many times I do it, I won't, I won't reach those heights. What are you excited for players to experience with this game? Any advice maybe you have for players of how they should you know, navigate these waters? I think have fun with all the different alternative paths and die again, try again. That's one of the really fun things about this game in particular is that there are so many different pathways that you can explore. And there's a real sense of mystery and I think it does require genuine effort and endeavor to discover the clues and decode the broader conundrum that the game offers up. Come and check this out. What on earth is that? Not a clue. Who do you think is going to be the favorite character in this game? I think yeah. Ellen's character, Angela. Really? Yeah. She's just awesome, and she puts everyone right in their place. Hey, Daniel, you guys! I am not a guy? How are you two doing down there? This, this little detour is ruining my clothes! That's the headline here? Really? John, played by Alex, the professor, I think likes to think of himself as the leader and Angela as a character is just brilliant at putting him in his place and keeping the young'uns all in check and she's super funny and I've loved watching that character come to life. Yeah. Well, I thought we'd, uh, we'd end with some rapid fire questions uh, okay. to cover some things that we have not covered yet. So, uh, all right, first up, are you easily scared? Yes. Yeah? Yeah, I wanted to lie, but mm, yes. What scares you? I'm still one of those people that like if it's dark and it's oh. silent in a house and I'm the only one around, I just like to turn a few lights on. I'm that kind of person. You don't know what's there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever seen a ghost or experienced anything supernatural? And I haven't. My last name's Polter, Poltergeist. I grew up with a lot of ghost gags, but that's really as close as I've come. Never actually experienced anything supernatural. Lived I've lived it. <laughs> I've lived as a ghost. Uh, a witch or a, a demon? I'm gonna go with which I think. Demons are just legitimately evil. And as we discuss in the game, all witches were innocent. So I'm gonna go with, okay. with witches. All right. Uh, 1900s or 1600s? Ooh, uh, 1900s. I feel like there were more amenities in the 1900s. I <laughs> a few more home comforts. You know, yeah. Mm, mm, yeah. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, would you rather be chased by a demon or accused uh, by a witch hunter? I mean, I feel like there's really no winning that. Yeah, well, if you're, if you're chased by a witch hunter, there really is no winning that. There was actually no way out of that. And a lot of the trials they used to put women accused of being witches through ended up in death or death. So really, there's no way out of it. So at least there's an opportunity to escape a demon. So I'd rather be pursued by a demon, which sounds like a strange thing to say. Well, I feel like now you've got some skills too at being in this game. You've, maybe you know a thing a or two of how to survive it. Yeah. Possible demon attack. Yeah, if I got the gang together again, yeah, maybe, yeah, with their help. All right, Will. Tana, thanks, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Appreciate, Appreciate that. It. Thank you. Cheers.